Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to more Jack 3. In the last episode, we entered the forest area, stopping the Dark Makers from planting their ridiculous plants, and also managed to enter the Dark Maker ship with a very awesome Dark Maker robot and destroyed something. I mean, I don't know what we destroyed. They didn't really show us what we destroyed. All I knew is that we destroyed generators, and that's really about it. And then we um, escorted a bunch of bombs to the Metalhead base area quote unquote so now we're here we finally have all the upgrades to all the weapons so now we're gonna enter this area and see what it has to unfold because in all fairness uh i'm pretty sure a lot of people were probably looking forward to that so yeah um this place is quite the trip it also ends up sporting a lot of uh, annoying enemies but that's usually always the annoying part now, one of the things I've noticed that um, I haven't really been doing, I haven't been using like light jack like at all, mainly because I've only been using it as a source of, I didn't realize that I had healing capabilities. So that kind of baffled my mind for a second. Cause I was like, wait a minute, I have, I, I, ha I can heal. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. I thought I did not have any healing abilities. I thought I had nothing. So, when I found out that I had healing, I was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Go away, please. Seriously. Why why do you guys Is it gonna be another one? Yes, there is. Go away. Thank you. Damn. Go away. Okay, uh. Yeah, there we go. You guys are you guys are like you guys are like robots. You guys can cannot take the welder worth a damn. Even though, to be perfectly honest, it's probably the most hilarious weapon in existence. But man, I just realized these guys don't look like metalheads at all. These guys look like converted metalheads, in fact. Is that an enemy? No, it's not. It's just something I can just bounce on just for funsies. It's just something that can bounce on just for funsies. I'm a kid. <laughs> It's like, I am a kid. I basically know how to have my fun for the most part. Oh, God. So now, here's the thing. You notice that you see a lot of um, light eco... Well, not a lot. You're seeing a bit of a lot... A, a few light eco vents. Well, one of the reasons is two things. One, you're going to have no choice to actually use light deck. Which... That is your healing capabilities. Problem is, however, that the, I think it does manage to heal all of your um, abilities, but you know, you are gonna have to be using Light Jack's platforming to go ahead and progress through the area. So yeah, the beauty thing about Light Jack is that you don't expunge all your Light Eco at once. So that's probably like the only beneficial thing I can say compared to Dark Jack. Cause Dark Jack, once you like use any sort of um anything of your, its abilities, that's pretty much it. You you don't you don't have any sort of way of getting it back. Which sucks, because I kinda wish that Dark Jack did not do that, but it does anyway, so we are gonna have to deal with it. Kinda dumb when you really think about it, cause I think that it will probably expunge more if you manage to go ahead and, um, what's the word? Use the healing factor, which, you know, that, that, that makes sense. Ooh, a dark bridge. How fancy. I like it when my platforming areas are fancy. For the most part. Half of the time, they kind of uh, go a little bit haywire, you know? Eh. Okay. Oh, okay. Can we just, like... There we go. I was going to say, can we, like, just use this? Because um, I haven't been using this um, version of the gun. So, might as well. Sky Shop might as well get some love, you know? I mean, they're giving us a lot of Peacemaker ammo, which is a good thing. Because, in all fairness, um, after using it once, I don't want to... I, I hate using the... I don't know at one point when the nuke is ever going to be useful because the only time that weapon is ever fun to use is only if you have infinite ammo. I don't, I never found a reasoning to use it, 
not yet. Maybe because, you know, I'm kind of lame and I can't really find any sort of way of really using it. Also realize that this gun, the bomb version of this gun, also takes a crap ton of ammo. But then again, what doesn't? Like, I mean, you are technically using a glorified bomb here. So, yeah. Go away. We would have a lot difficult time if our weapons were not upgraded, to be fair. Is it cheating? Not really, because to be honest, this is not, this is technically not cheating. Cause then I, I don't have like infinite health or anything. I still pretty much die. It's just that I just have the capabilities of defending myself. And to be fair, I rather have the ability of defending myself more so than not having the ability of defending myself, you know? One of those things where you kind of appreciate the upgrades, but if you ever want to have a difficult time with the game, that's my, my go-to is to don't use the upgrades. But obviously I'm gonna use the upgrade because as a regular, uh, um, I'm pretty sure an LP here will probably use the upgrades too to make it a little bit better for them. I mean, hell, the game hands them out to you anyways. And the only way to get them is that you have to go anyway to get the precursor orbs regardless. Ah, my two friends have come to see me off. I'd love to stay in chat, but I have an appointment with the most powerful beings in the universe. You're through, metal monkey! Don't make me come over there and sick Jack on you! You're too late. I've already awakened the Dark Mega Ship. When I come back, I will be wielding the very power of the Precursors. I'll see you boys soon. Look at that, it's cool. It's amazing. It's reacting to the dark stuff. Ah, it's gonna blow! Let's get out of here! trying to stop Earl but then he got away so now he's in the dark maker's ship and god damn it <sighs> now we need to find some way to get to the catacombs fast so we can actually get to the dark maker's ship because Earl is now on the ship he's gonna be activating that thing and once he activates that thing well let's just say all life on earth is gonna be destroyed and we can't have that like, we don't want Earl to destroy this Earth. I like this Earth. I mean, I don't like what's inhabiting it now. I mean, I can go without the freaking KG bots and the freaking, um, uh, the metalheads. Which, by the way, why are the metalheads still in this game? Like, they're so, ir they're so irrelevant now that it's kind of, it's so wasteful that they're even in this game to begin with. I don't know why. I, I, I hate the fact that they're in it, but I think it's time to meet Onan, because I think this is her tent. Yeah, it's Onan. What's up, Onan? Jack, we are in serious trouble. Onan says there are strange forces at work. Fate has been twisted by something more powerful than anything she has ever seen in her many years. <laughs> something now awake deep in the catacombs. Let me guess. You blowhards want us to go down there. Correct! The best access to the catacombs is on the metalhead side of the city. Sometimes, I really hate you guys. Onan says she sees your fate turning black with uncertainty. Onan says it will be very dangerous indeed. Onan says Hecker will escort you to the catacombs and... What? What did you say? You will be Onan's eyes and Jack's wisdom. You must do this. Ah, okay, fine. But I am gone the moment that things get sticky. You two, get to the catacomb entrance and take care of business. I'll meet you there when the coast is clear. 
Alrighty. Well, aside from one detail that I like, I like that my ship was still here. That's uh, kind of cool. And now we're being shot at. That's nice. <laughs> All right. So we're going to head to the catacombs. And then I think I, if my guess is right, I think we're about to get to the scene that is very, very important. Now, a lot of people probably have already figured it out by now. But even though it's kind of obvious, if, if you, if you kind of just read between the lines, I'm not going to really mention it, but it's, it's kind of... It's kind of on the nose. It's time to get into some sick stuff going on. The catacomb area is um, it's quite an interesting area. It's not a fun one, but it also sports, I want to say, the second to last vehicle kind of mission. Now, you're probably wondering why I said second to last vehicle kind of mission and why I also said vehicle mission in general. You'll see what I mean soon. You'll all see what I mean. Hey, I remember this area. Uh, we're going, we're going up, aren't we? I mean, I can clearly see the friggin' um. Okay, I can see the rope here. So, let's get on board. Let's do this. All right. So as Pecker said, he wants us to go ahead and take out mostly everything here, but that takes too long. The only hombres tough and crazy enough to take on these things are the Wastelanders. You're a genius. Yeah, that trinket's worth about as much as you'd get from a broke down pawn shop in Southtown. Okay, never mind. It looks like we're taking care of these assholes by ourselves. I mean, what else is new? For some reason, this game really loves to take care of uh, You know what? I'm glad that they're basically giving us metalheads again because I need some damn metalhead skulls. You guys are only useful for that, and that only, and I died. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna shoot you guys because I don't even care. Just go away. Should I even get that to be... Whoa. Oh, calm it down, man. I know you guys want to be jumpy freely and whatnot, but you guys need to chill the hell. You guys need to chill the hell. Oh, really? Okay. I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. I, um, for some reason, lost my footing repeatedly over and over and over again. Okay. Stop it. Stop jumping. Guys are not making it easy for me to shoot you guys. Seriously. A lot of precursors just surrounding the entire area. Which is good, because in all fairness, um We're kinda gonna we're we're not gonna need it. It's just that I also noticed that they're also in like friggin' um dangerous areas that makes me wanna go ahead and squint when I platform. <laughs> I almost feel like I'm gonna fall. Whoa! Alright, go away. So yeah, we're gonna take out half of these guys and then at the halfway point, the game is gonna shift into a different um, fighting um, fighting thing. Fighting thing, that's not even a word. Um, it's gonna shift, so don't worry. We're not gonna be doing this on foot. Oh God, no, you imagine that? That'd be pretty freaking annoying. Uh, what button is this? Is it the X button? Is it the, what you call button? What button is it? Oh. R2. I mean, R1. Not that button. Here it is. Always keep forgetting what button. You see, one of the things about having two powers is that trying to remember what buttons does what. Because <laughs> I don't remember what light jack does, and I don't remember what dark jack does, and I don't remember what buttons is what combinations. You know, back in my day, in Jack 2, you only just had one to deal with, but then again, having one is not as interesting as having two. Oh, look at that. The game actually gives us both light and, um, both light pods. Why do they give us both light pods? I don't freaking know. All I know, it does give me a chance to do this, though. Ah, I love that I can just, you know, just heal myself like that. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and use light and flap. Flap. 
And that's basically how I end up getting rid of that very easily without, you know, regulating it to taking forever kind of spiel. Because in all honesty, trying to, um, you, it's a little bit harder to get rid of the light jack for the most part because you kind of have to like press, you gotta have to press a few buttons and, uh, yeah, I don't feel like doing that. It's easier to just get on the jet board and just keep going to be honest. All right, so I'm gonna need to switch. Okay, you guys are just gonna immediately attack me. That's fine. And we're gonna have to use Dark Jack again to be able to break down the walls, which is right over here. It's the only thing that Dark Jack is useful for is just breaking down walls. You remember when it was such a, it was a destruction? Um, I also love that when you do get like light jack powers, he does the jump animation that's um bait That's a reference to jack one where he gets um blue eco. So I like that reference Whoa Okay, that was actually pretty close. I almost died there uh, It's over here. Oh more enemies to kill it's weird too because i think my first playthrough of jack 3 i never use every weapon i usually always use one or the other i don't even know what this area is like I, i'm not familiar with this area i'm not sure if this is a is a rehash of another area also realize we killed a metalhead even though i was not intended to so that's pretty funny <laughs> Uh, suck it losers you guys do not deserve to have anything in my boots I am not good at trash talking seriously I never was never will be if I was then holy crap that's gonna fall all right we got one more wall to me to bust down where is said wall aha here it is boosh Okay, you guys are getting pretty annoying, and I'm not really being a fan of you guys anymore. You guys are already overstayed your welcome. You guys can go now. Woo! Okay. That's pretty cool. You guys are nice. I like you. You guys are just popping out of the ground now? Seriously? That's not fair. I'm more so surprised that I'm still able to friggin' do all this without, you know, falling off. It's a good thing that we don't use the blaster all that much in this playthrough because not using the blaster means I have the ability of using the ricocheting shots a lot more now. Because before, I don't think I upgraded the ammo capacity for the um, blaster, so it's a nice change of pace. Mainly because, you know, Smooth let's plays and whatnot. You kind of don't really want to go ahead and stress so much on yourself. All right. Hopefully, this is the last time we get to use Blasting Jack. Where have you been? I've molded three times already, just waiting for you. Onan says we must get through the palace ruins, but I think. Uh oh. Say before it's all over. Riding on your shoulder, although it is kind of bony and uncomfortable. Well, you've been a good pal. You too, Dax. These adventures, they've been great. Someone called for an army. But you're a long way from the desert. I thought you said a smart warrior never takes his opponent head on. That depends on how hard your skull is. I'd say you and I are both rather headstrong. Let's finish this. Look alive, Jack. All right, so remember as I said that the um, vehicle controls are gonna, you're gonna, your vehicle controls are gonna be very tested. Yeah, this is um, when they actually start to get tested. And funny enough, this vehicle here that we're riding, I think this is the, um, that one of the vehicles that we can't get, but obviously we, we have the ability to. So yeah. And we, I think we have like infinite turbo. Who's that thing? There we go. No, actually, no, we don't have infinite turbo. What the hell am I on? 
Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, we do have infinite turbo. Never mind. No move. This is very finicky to control because there's a lot of terrains and the terrains are pretty annoying. But then again, what terrains are not annoying in this game? At a certain point, I kind of just, you know, just say, huh, terrains, how I don't love any of them because they are a pain in the ass. So the goal here is using the boost to basically bust down any sort of obstacle that is in your way. Using the guns to be able to take out any of the dark makers. Look out for the mortar shots. Because the mortar shots do do the most damage to you. And that's essentially it. You're not really, it's not really too taxing on you. The only problem I say that, you know, at some point we are probably going to enter like bombless pit territory. Which we, you know, will fall to our doom. But... Checkpoints is galore here. They're not too stressful and the enemies can't really do much to you except for the mortar shots But then again, I don't really even count the mortar shots as um, Enemies I just count them as obstacles to avoid and that's really about it Other than that just shoot your enemies out of your way You can use the boost if you want to but I'm gonna say this now don't Because that's gonna be kind of finicky to try to traverse through and also control Oh, we can jump if you know if, if you appreciate that don't use the jump <laughs> Please don't use the jump. Just just ride like a normal person. You'll be you'll thank me later. Trust me You really really will But yeah, Damus is here saving the day as per usual even though to be perfectly honest This is the first time this man ever actually gotten out of his chair. I mean out of his chair to a point of being with us, I should say. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Like, he did bring up a... He did... Funny enough, he brought up a good point that, you know, funny that Baron Praxis did the same exact um, thing in betraying us, just like how Damus got betrayed as well. It, it's like Baron Praxis, for some reason, just loves to betray people, and the man dies right in front of us, and it's like... Wow, okay. <laughs> it's like, you know what? You're all right, pal. Even if you are a dick. But you're still all right. All right. Final stretch. Got a few more barriers to take care of. And then we should be A-OK -okay and Gucci and Gucci Fanuki. Gucci Fanuki. Man, sometimes I wonder what the hell I even say half of the time. All right, so here you kind of have to use the boost and the jumps at the same time. Okay, no, you don't. Never mind, I lied. Actually, wait. Um, do you have to use the boost to be able to get that? No, I think you do because I don't think there's a possible way of actually getting through that area. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. There's a ramp over here. Even though it does feel... Whoa, that was close. Yeah, so I think that this thing kind of doesn't really have much of a boost per se, but it just like it's a ram, and that's really it. <laughs> it just rams into things, and then it just keeps moving. So I'm going to knock this down to reveal that. Get rid of you guys. Ram in that. Boom shakalaka. I thought that was a hole. Hit this. Keep, you know, stating the obvious of what the hell you're doing. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> but no, it's like, I find that interesting that Baron Prox has basically betrayed two people twice. You'd think after a while he would have stopped. But hey, to be fair, Damus did make a freaking, um, friggin name for himself even if he did have even if he did get banished to the wasteland so kudos to him even getting betrayed he still managed to go ahead and be you know a leader to his people so eh pretty sure half of those people all end up getting betrayed too so eh Damos! Not me! 
bad driving, kid. It was a good fight. <coughs> and a good day to die. I'm very proud to have been by your side in the end. <coughs> this world is not yet out of heroes. We did well together. Don't move, Al. Please, promise me one thing. Promise me you'll find my son, Mar. You'll know him when you see this. He's wearing an amulet just like it. A symbol of our lineage with the great House of Mar. <coughs> Save the people, Jack. They need you. Father. Yes, you were that child. I took you from Damus, hoping to harness your eco powers for my experiments. Then I lost you to the underground. You seem upset. Did I tell you too late? You were the son of the great warrior Damus. Oh, and he never knew. How delightful. Ah! Bigger! Thank you for opening the door to the precursors. Don't worry. I'll be back to put you out of your misery. After him, Jack! You're willing to go down there? Without a fuss this time. Yeah, well, don't get used to it. It's just that nobody hurts my best friend and lives to brag about it. Let's get him! Alright, sadly, I, I don't really have a way of actually stopping right now, so we're just gonna go ahead and just uh, play this as um, as we see fit. But yeah, Davis is Jack's father, if it wasn't obvious enough. In all fairness, though, there was kind of a lot of hints that he was his father. But, I don't know, something, on one hand, something tells me that Damus probably knew that Jack was his son, just didn't want to go ahead and say anything and bring it up to, you know, make any sort of random ass tension. So, you know, the game decides to go ahead and basically pull that whole, hey, he doesn't really know he's your father. He's gonna tell you at the end when he, uh, when something stupid happens to him. By the way, this part here is a very long stretch of a, of a part, so yeah. But that's not the only thing that's a bit of a plot twist that's gonna happen. We have one final plot twist that's gonna be happening once we get past this segment and it's a very funny plot twist in fact it's so funny that even i i, I laughed even the characters points um um pokes fun at it because it's it's just so funny uh, just when they find out about it enjoy <laughs> greater good that I assume this role. Even now, it may be too late. If Errol awakens the dark ship's cargo, all will be lost. Listen, glow boy. We've been doing all your dirty work while you slept in the stars. So stop it! Inefficient. I told you we needed a backup hero. We should have gone with plan B. Ow! Hey, cut it out! <laughs> We are unhappy with your performance. If you had been a true hero, you would have stopped Errol by now. Oh my god. Yes, well, uh, now we are even more angry. And uh, we all 
so upset. If you knew we precursors were a bunch of little fuzzy rats, would you worship us? Could we run the universe? Not possible, buddy. So we fluff up the myth a bit. And we get the respect we deserve. You idiots! Get down from there and stop defiling that glorious machine! Do not let our size fool you. We are the most powerful beings in the universe. We are? <laughs> Why does Daxter look like? Ah, yes. All eco contains the source of our essence. Our code, so to speak. When Daxter touched the dark eco, he was actually blessed when he thought he was cursed. Woohoo! I'm a precursor! I'm a precursor! I'm a precursor! Hey! Wait a minute! They have pants! These creatures are the great precursors? And I wanted to evolve into them. No! <laughs> A little drafty, isn't it? The only way to ensure that Errol will not awaken the ship's cargo is to go there yourself and stop him. We will send you there from here. But the weapon... Chill out, buddy. You should have Mondale minutes to go there and get back here pronto. I mean, way before the... Hopefully before. Ba-boom! Oh, yeah! Let's move. You idiots. I told you we needed a plan B. All right, so here's the thing. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here because, yeah, we had like five minutes to get past all this nonsense and stop Arrow in this Dark Maker shenanigans ship. But until then, I will talk about what the hell will happen in the last scene. So I've been CCX, and I'll be seeing you guys next time. See us.